Alright, final mission of the game, and it's a simple one in terms of what we need to do. Destroy one computer and kill the main bad guy. Sure, he's a damage sponge, and there will be constantly spawning grunts, so it's not among the easiest missions of the game, but it's definitely not among the most complicated missions for us to pull off, which is good to know. That in the game, Natalia didn't destroy the satellite like she did in the movie? I considered it a brilliant bit that someone who was in charge of the satellite's guidance systems simply told the satellite to re-enter the atmosphere and burn up instead of coming up with some overly complicated way to take it out. But instead here, it's still an issue. Bloody hell, this game has outright removed one of Natalia's best moments of awesome from the movie while making her a liability that people would look at as the worst example of an escape in video games ever since. Did the game designers have something against Natalia as a character or something? Or is there some other explanation for why Natalia became such an unintentional hate sink in this game? Hell, I'd feel more invested in shooting at her at the end of this game than killing Alec, even though we've spent quite a few missions with him as our direct villain. Well, at least one of the turrets wasn't all that capable of turning in this room. I certainly appreciate that, Mercy. Especially with the garbage way I end up fighting with this mission as we try to take down the main villain. Seriously, I'm just letting these bastards shower me with bullets because I keep trying to directly chase after the boss and don't seem to be able to stay aware of our surroundings as I do it. There's not really much to say about this mission, really. It's action packed. You need to keep your wits about you as enemies keep on popping up constantly. You need to contend with a damage sponge that keeps running to pre designated spots all over the map. And did I mention the music is pretty awesome? Yeah. All in all, it's a good way to cap off the game, considering everything else we've done to get here so far. It's not the greatest final mission of a game I've ever gone through, but it gets the job done, considering everything that the game is capable of. For a moment there, I was worried there'd be turrets in this room, too. Seems the only turrets were the two in the room with the console. It also seems that the biggest threat in this boss-centric mission isn't the boss himself, despite the fact that he's got a pretty powerful automatic gun and an obscene amount of health. Hell, even the grenades he occasionally drops along his path aren't that big of a deal. The single greatest threat are the common enemies keep on coming up until we lower Alex's health to a certain point, so he runs to the final with fight spot. Seriously, just look at how seriously injured we've gotten this quickly in the mission, despite the game shark code being on. The pain comes pretty quick in this one, that's for damn sure. If you want to take down Alec, it's best to do so in a hurry. Yeah. Of course, the only reason you wouldn't in a mission like this is because you want to just take down as many enemies as possible before you die. I distinctly remember as a kid treating this mission like I'd treat firefight mode in Halo Reacher OBST. I'm not even sure there's a point shooting him when he's running to the final fight spot. Huh. Could have 
have sworn that his previous line, the one where he says you'll never win, was the one that triggered him going to the final fight spot. Again, funny how my memory works sometimes. Not only are you not better, sometimes I finish you off with my bare hands just to make it similar to the movie. And of course, Natalia comes with a helicopter, just like in the movie. Though there, she had a pilot at gunpoint, she didn't fly it herself. Amazing how this game managed to make her a Jill of all trades and still made her feel more hated than the main villain. <laughs> 